volcanoes under a city. There are actually two volcanoes in Asia that you can visit, and it's just within the city, <laughs> one city in those two countries. One, so one of the volcanoes is actually in Taiwan, and the other one is in the Philippines. The Tatun volcano in Taiwan is 15 kilometers away from the capital of Taiwan and there are 7 million people living in that capital. So for the longest time, people thought that they were just blessed with natural resources. But I think sometime in 2017, they realized that there are actually 20 peaks in that volcano and it actually has the potential to, to erupt. Um, so the government actually already sprung into action and they asked their, one of their agencies to make a study, you know, um, come up with different plans just in case it erupts. They wanted to know just how much damage it's going to create if it erupted. Uh, so far, it hasn't. But as I've said, if you want to visit Taiwan in the capital, 17 kilometers away from that would be the Tatun volcano. Now, the other one is the Al volcano in the Philippines. So it is located in between Tagaytay City and Batangas City. It is not uh, in the capital. So the capital of the Philippines is Manila. So, so it's a little, it's like, um, I don't know, maybe 20 miles, 30 miles away from Manila. Uh, you drive and then it is a lake. The volcano is a lake within a lake. So the mouth of the volcano, the volcano is in the middle of a lake. Okay. And then inside the volcano is a lake. So that's why they call it a lake within a lake. Uh, right now it's very active. I think several months ago it erupted. Like it, erupted or something it's not a major eruption but it was enough to cause some worry <laughs> in in the country so it you can back when i was a kid like when i was maybe seven or eight or i don't know my father actually went inside the mouth of that volcano um my cousin married somebody from that city the Tanga city and they took a boat from where we were into the mountain and they actually went down i had my own chance to actually go down in there about 12 years ago i had a friend who was visiting from from london and he wanted to see the the volcano and the guide asked us if we actually wanted to go down he said that there's a route that we can take to take us down we weren't supposed to actually go down it wasn't allowed but crazy guide <laughs> but i took my chance because i really wanted to see it so it's um i didn't dip into the lake my father did at that time we could still dip into the lake i couldn't anymore because it was really so hot but at least i was able to go down into that that mountain but so now you can't anymore because as i've said it's so active right now so they're not allowing people to actually go to the the volcano um so but you can from tagaytay city there's a lot of restaurants there great food great place and from batangas as well certain spots in batangas so you can actually go and see at the Al Volcano. I, this is unconfirmed, but I do remember uh, working, I, I, so I worked for uh, an environmental science group for a period when I was younger, and the head of that organization told me that the last major eruption of, of Ta'al actually created an entire city. And I don't quite remember what city he said, but I feel like it was Quetzal City or something. So you should be showing, that, you should be seeing that in the map. But that I can confirm that. But he did say that that when it erupted the last um, last major eruption, it created a city. Imagine that. Okay, so as I've said, if you are ever uh, in for an, any kind of adventure and you're going to Asia, do consider <laughs> only if you want to um, take it, do it in, in your own risk, at your own risk. But um, Tatun Volcano in Taiwan and Taal Volcano in the Philippines.